ESPN, the biggest surprise for all 32 teams, and um, is it real or a mirage? So fourth quarter collapses for the Browns are uh, the surprises, and the verdict is it's real. Defenses have been in a disaster late in games, giving up a total of 34 points in just two fourth quarters. Verdict is it's real. Uh, Fred, I guess the question is how quickly can it be fixed, and is it fixable? Well, I think the talent's there. I, I just think it's, like I said, a pride factor to say if you really, you know, you ought to be embarrassed. You want to come out here and, and shut down the Steelers, and that's one way to put a lot of this to rest. I think that Joe Woods needs to reevaluate, maybe simplify things if, if they're having these miscommunications. I mean, you can, in the first game, half the yardage came, you know, on three plays. And then last week, we all know, you know, that they held the team to 14 points through three quarters and then gave up 17 again in the fourth quarter. And obviously the the two touchdowns in the final minute and 20 seconds. So whatever the cause is, you got to simplify it. And you cannot tell me that if these players don't have the talent to be in position, I mean, you just can't let a guy run free. I mean, even if you're side by side with them, you could interfere with them. That prevents the touchdown. But when you just don't even cover them, that lets Robbie Anderson run all the way for the score. It lets Corey Davis run all the way for the score. You know, you watch Corey Davis had to stop. That ball was overthrown. And if somebody would even been the general facility, they'd been able to at least tackle him. So I, I, I do think this is on the, the coaching staff to put the players in a position. And if they can't hear the plays, they can't communicate the plays, just just go back to old-fashioned football. You cover this guy and you cover this guy and keep them in front of you. Do not let anybody get behind you. I mean, I was told that in junior high, high school football. 